Guys, if you haven't heard the news, OpenAI yesterday just released their new image generation for 4.0 and it is freaking amazing, trust me. This is what everyone's been waiting for. This is going to change the world. So not only can you use the image gen and make it super realistic now and modify your images. And I'm gonna show you these videos that they just put out just so you guys can get a better understanding, but you can create full-blown text within your images. If you've been using Ideogram before, you know how this works, but this works a lot better than Ideogram. I actually just canceled my subscription yesterday for Ideogram because I no longer need it. ChatGPT is now going to be a powerhouse when it comes to like ad creatives, anything with creative marketing, anything that you have to generate that is an image that has text in it. It is amazing. So what a world that we live in today. We're gonna get right into this. I am recording this for the second time because the last one I did did not record my audio, unfortunately. So I'm gonna get through this pretty quick, but introducing 4.0 image generation, unlocking useful and valuable image generation with a multi-model model capable of precise, accurate, photorealistic output, okay? This is insane. So at OpenAI, we have long believed image generation should be a primary capability of our language models. That's why we've built our most advanced image generator yet into GPT-4.0. The results, image generation that is not only beautiful, but useful, and they are 100% correct. So as you can see here, they have a prompt that they put in here, wide image taken. And, and this looks like it's a screenshot of them talking directly on ChatGPT. You can use this image model on Sora, or you can go and use this image generation right on the 4.0 model within ChatGPT. You might have to have the $20 a month subscription. I'm not sure. I've had one since day one, so I'm not sure if they release this to free users or not. But this is amazing. So the first thing here is a wide image taken with a phone of a glass whiteboard in a room overlooking the Bay Bridge. The field of view shows a woman writing, sporting a t-shirt with a large OpenAI logo. The handwriting looks natural and a bit messy. And we see the photographer's reflection. And then they also put in the text reads and they put in all the text that they want in here. Now, this is a cool tool because you really don't have to give it the text. You can just have it like do research and come up with stuff itself. But you can see here, Look how amazing this is. So transfer between modalities, fixes, this is doing it pretty perfectly. As you can see in here, if you use Ideogram before or another tool that supposedly did text within your images, you would have never been able to generate images with this much text in them. That is why it's super impressive. It looks super realistic. This is the future. So then they went and the cool thing is you can like modify. So once it generates an image, you're not just done. So like, you remember like Mid Journey or, or all that other stuff you had to like really put a seed through, you had to like really put some strength down on your image. This is a smart model on top of an image generation, okay? This is a lot different. So then they go and say, selfie view of the photographer as she turns around to high five him, right? And there you go, it's the same exact image, has the same whiteboard in the back, even a reflection on the back, you can see here, is showing them high-fiving. This is super smart. And it just took what she had here, or what they had here, and just made another image from it. So this is very, very amazing. We're going to go over these videos that they put out. They're about a minute long each. We're going to run through all of them and show you exactly all the capabilities that they have. And then I'm going to go and show you some examples. But even look at this. Like, create a photorealistic image of two witches in their 20s, one ash, one with long wavy auburn hair reading a street sign. The context of the street sign is this. And boom, like it did that whole entire street sign. You can see here they do have like a little disclaimer, best of eight. When I ran this, most of the time it was perfect, okay? So you can see all the text in here is perfect. It's not messed up. This is amazing. It's truly amazing on what is happening here. A lot of people, unfortunately, are going to lose their jobs. Everyone's paying for Canva, Photoshop, all that stuff. It's it's practically gone. You know, if they're not implementing these new AI features, then these tools that you've once known for many, many years are going to be a thing of the past, and you are going to be able to get your time back because who wants to edit images? Who wants to do all this bull crap all the time with the images? So let's go up here. Let's check out the first video. I'm going to skip right through it. This first one is... Yeah, no worries. How are you doing? I'm doing good. We're looking at an improved image generation in ChatGPT. It's really good at instruction following. My name is Kenji Hada, and I work on multimodal research here at OpenAI. 
there's a level of attention to detail that is just not captured by other models. The first thing I'm going to show is like 15 different objects and each one of them has unique attributes that differ, make it very different from all the other objects. An image containing one, a blue star, a red triangle, three, a orange hourglass, bow tie. So I'm going to go ahead and skip forward a little bit on this one. He's just naming a bunch of stuff that he wants in the model and now the model's smart enough to actually get all of that correct. What will show is that this image will just nail pretty much every single one of these objects that I've defined. Previous iterations, Dolly, you know, image, Imagine, things like that, they would probably get somewhere on the order of like maybe five to eight of these at most. It nailed it all. With increased level of detail, you can just specify what you have. And you heard him say nailed it all, okay? In your mind to ChatGPT, ChatGPT will understand you better and then generate that image. And it'll be just a very direct mapping from what's in your mind to what you see on the screen. All these image generators nowadays, they look good, but they are they useful. And like attention to detail makes it really, really useful. Exactly. So all these other image generations, yeah, they were useful. But if you're looking for productivity level, this is where we need to be at. So I'm going to go through a few more of these videos real quick just to show you exactly where we're at like in real life. Hello, thanks for inviting me. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so excited to talk to you. Yeah, me too. I feel the ability of the image generation of this model is becoming stronger and stronger. My name is Lu. I'm a research scientist in OpenAI working on modern. We're going to skip forward. What she's doing, she's actually taking an image of a comic. People use this our tool to Something generate that they books. hand drew. So I'm okay. going to upload this drawing to ChatGPT now. So I just type this prompt now and it starts to generate what will this drawing look like as a real comic. Many of the times, especially when you play with the model more and more, you'll find things very suppressing. So I get this very funny comic now. I want to replace this dragon with this cutie penguin. Yeah, it looks nice. And personal. So not only did she go ahead and take that image or that sketch of her comic and it made a comic, but then she took another character and just said, you know what, change the character and just make it this. So this is where we are. I mean, this is really amazing stuff. Let's go to the next video. These are very, very short. Let's, let's do this one first, because this is actually the first video and I kind of showed you them backwards. Capability. Try again? One thing that I'm really excited about ImageGen is the ability to keep consistency in characters. They a lot of people have always had a problem with this. You know, we've been able to figure out the consistent characters before, but now ChatGPT is on a whole nother level with these consistent characters, so check this one out. Even Medina, or Nimed, and I work on multimodal. What I want to show is one of my favorite prompts, which is, can you create a low-poly penguin mage? Make it very, very low-poly. Surprisingly, it's sometimes hard to get very good. So then we're going to go ahead and skip forward miniature like games so what i'll do now is generate a miniature from this so ideally we'll see a penguin that looks like this with the same staff and, and a hat so can you make me a realistic miniature as if a professional made this and painted it this is what i think excites me the most about imagen the other image generation models will try to create literally what you said but what's special about this is one, it'll keep the context of this character, and then two, it'll understand what I'm trying to ask it for and generate very similar model, but in a miniature realistic style. It infers what I want. I don't have to tell it every little detail. One other realistic thing we could do is, can you... And you notice what he said there. He said he doesn't have to give it a lot of detail. This image generation is based around a smart integration with ChatGPT. So not only do you have this image gen now, but you can, you know, it's like you're talking to ChatGPT. If you use Ideogram, MidJourney, everything like that, you had to have the exact prompt of what you wanted. Now this can think and know exactly what you want without you having to give those long, ginormous prompts that everyone's used to. Make a crystal version of this with light reflecting and very realistic. Again, I'm just giving a very, very simple thing. Normally, this is not enough for other models to generate something very detailed, but the model understands what I'm asking for. It'll 
think what type of style it should have. So this ability to really understand what the character is and make edits and understand what the user wants. For me, it's the, just an amazing. So that there is mind blowing, but this is what really, really makes me happy about OpenAI throwing this in there. And this has to do with generating text within your image. <laughs> Hello. I'm Alan, I'm a research scientist to OpenAI. People tend to say a picture is worth a thousand words, but being able to also render like a few words or symbols can carry like thousands of pictures, you know, with a relatively simple prompt, like visualize an infographic explaining Newton's prism experiment in great detail with a wide aspect ratio and a dark blue background. So this is like an example where one, we're going to rely on being able to render text in useful ways, combine it with visual elements that actually ground what this text about this experiment even means, and, and hopefully. So I'm gonna pause this video, and as you can see here, look at the image that I created with all of the text. I'm not sure if you can see it on my screen, but everything is correct. Like when we used to use Ideogram, you know, we could generate a few lines of text and they've been doing it for a little while now but they were never able to generate text at this scale and he didn't have to give it the text like he said visualize an infographic explaining Newton's prism experiment in great detail with a wide aspect ratio and dark blue background so that's a perfect example of how you know the ChatGPT language model is actually in there in the background knowing exactly what to create and put into these images it's mind-blowing keep checking it out Hopefully, you know, help students who are more visual learn both through, you know, language descriptions of a phenomenon, but also, you know, a, a visual imagination of what the experiment actually looks like. It's no longer just about making imaginary scenes that look aesthetic and things like that, but it's really about communicating and imagining and doing so at the same time. Perfect. So now that you guys have seen all these videos, I'm not going to bore you with any more videos. I'm going to show you exactly how you can access this and how you use it. So like I said, I already made a video before this that the audio never recorded. So I do have a bunch of demos done of me working in here and stuff that I've worked on that I did in the other video that I'm not going to show you just because, you know, I didn't have the audio, but I'm going to go back in and show you exactly what I was doing. So what you can do here. If you ever come to the Sora platform, this is like going to ChatGPT, but it's Sora.com, and you can you used to just generate videos, okay? Now they added the new feature where you can generate the images within Sora. It's the same thing as using the 4.0 model, but you're not in ChatGPT itself. So if we go to my media, I'll show you what I've kind of been creating. As you know, like a lot of people who are watching this, they might know, they might not know, but I created a website called AI with Chris. I just dropped a hundred and fifty new AI tools on AIwithchris.com, and I also have like learning modules and all that kind of cool stuff to get you really adapted into AI. But what I wanted, you know, Sora or not Sora, but the new Image Gen model to do was I wanted it to create some like creatives, like run ads on some like little memes or anything like that, and I gave it very minimal text to, to run off of. Okay, so right here I said. Create ad creatives for my AI with Chris.com website that shows a big engaging 150 plus AI tools available on AI with Chris.com professional and realistic meme. And this is what it created. So you can see here, it might not have had the context of the tools I wanted, but it's doing the text fairly well. Okay. I did it here. I did a bunch of them here and we're going to keep scrolling down and I'm going to show you some other ones I did. You know, these are all good. Like this is about AI with Chris. Here's some more. And all the text is perfect. Like a lot of times there was no problems. I did run into problems when I tried making like a mind map with like all the different tools, stuff like that. Sometimes it did like multiple, like draft a resume, draft a resume, ace an exam, ace an exam, which we're not looking for. But just to show you, you know, if you did this on another language model or another image model, this would be all mumble jumble words everywhere and it wouldn't make any type of sense. This is getting there. This is the future, like I'm saying. And then we're gonna go do one of my fa favorite ones that I did. Sorry, I got the hiccups. I did one, I said, <laughs> this was my prompt. Kind of lengthy, we're not gonna go into it, but I just told them what I wanted. I took the same concept that OpenAI did when I showed you the demo video, and it says AI with Chris.com, get access to over 150 plus AI tools. It looks like someone's writing it on a whiteboard. 
super realistic and it works great for advertising. You know, you can use it for whatever you want. So this is one way to use it. I'm going to show you the other way and we're going to hop on over to ChatGPT. We are over here at ChatGPT right now. And as you can see in the left hand corner, I am in the 4.0 model here. So here is some examples of what I just did when it goes to like doing research. So I don't have to give it anything. I don't have to give it the text. I can say research AI with Chris.com and make some engaging memes that can be used for Facebook ads. What it did is it came up with a bunch of like different memes, different ideas, different text. And I said, okay, start creating the images with these different concepts. And then here you go. It just started doing it. So when you realize AI can handle your workload, discover how AI automation can give you more free time. Join AI with Chris.com today. And then I did another one. My face when I discover I can automate repetitive tasks with AI. Learn how at AI with Chris.com. Now, this one's cool. Like, I don't know why they decided they wanted to use the face of the Green Goblin off of Spider-Man. And hopefully I can say that on here. I'm not sure. But they used his face. Maybe they thought it was a good idea to use it. I'm not sure. So what I did, what you can do is I download this image. Or you can just reference it. You don't have to, like, upload it back in. I see it working a lot better with uploading it back in. But I, I uploaded the image back in. And I said, let's change the person's face in the image. Make them look shocked. Now, this is the really cool part about this. It did the same image, as you can see here. My face when I discovered, now his face is actually shocked. I can automate repetitive tasks with AI. Learn how at AIwithchris.com. And then it went to start doing the next one. And for some reason, it said, I wasn't able to generate that image because it may have involved recognizable characters or individuals in a way that goes against our content policy. So weird, they did it at first, but then they don't want to do it again. I, I, I don't understand that. But this tool is amazing. The new image gen, you have to get in here right away and start messing around with it. I'm not going to bore you guys with this. I'll show you a few more AI memes that I created. AI marketing memes. Okay. Here's stuff that I was playing around with. I just wanted it to do some research on AI with Chris, come up with some concepts for marketing memes. As you can see here, it did like the same one twice. Not sure why. And then I told it to create me five different memes about why people should join AI with Chris. And then I talked about the 150 AI tools that are on AI with Chris that people can use. I'm going to came up with a bunch of different styled memes. And you can see they are all spelled correctly. It works amazing. It just runs by itself. You can tell it to give you 10 of them. It'll just keep creating until it's done. You don't have to sit there and say one by one, do it. And it's in ChatGPT, so you can do this as many times as you really want. So I'm going to keep this short. There's lots of use cases you can do for this. One other thing that is really cool that you can do is you can actually upload a logo. Okay, say you upload your company logo. You can tell it to create you ad creatives based on that logo and based on your company. And it's going to throw that logo and do everything it creates. I don't have an example of that. But go ahead and try it. It's freaking awesome. Go ahead. Make sure you like, subscribe. Follow me for more because I'm going to be posting some more content. Go check out AIwithchris.com. I literally just dropped 150 new AI tools that you can use completely free. You can start using them for free. You don't need a ChatGPT account. You don't need to hook up like your API key with all these other tools. Everything is ran directly through AIwithchris.com. Start using the tools. There's anything from games all the way up to productivity, you know, wellness, personal tools, Anything you can really imagine, there's 150 for now, but there's going to be thousands in the future. Go ahead, check it out. I will talk to everyone later. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope everyone has a great day.